Hey guys, Jack here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. Now I have here two products from Ugreen. They are the 100 watt gallium nitrate chargers. So these are their new products that they just released and they sent out for me to check out. But this is all my own thoughts and testing. So we have here two different chargers. This is more of a portable charger. So if you're on the go and you just need the smallest possible charger, whereas this, as it says, is a desktop charger. So it has a cable. So if you're running it behind a desk, it's more useful for that. And if you haven't seen my previous video on their gallium nitrate charger, I was very impressed with it. It's small and compact and it charges very fast. And that was a 65 watt charger. These are 100 watt capable and have a couple extra ports. So if we go ahead and just flip it around, you can see some of the details on the back there. So you have four ports. So there's three USB-Cs along with a USB-A and it supports 100 watts. And you can see here, the different outputs for the port. So not all of them support the maximum output, but you can see that the USB-C one and two support a maximum of 100 watts. USB three uh, supports 22.5, and then the USB-A is again 22.5, but that is a combined total of 100 watts. So you can't charge both type C's at 100 watts. That would be 200, so it is maximum 100. But if we go ahead and just slice open to take a look, so they retail for around about 80 pounds for this portable one and then about 99.99 for the desktop one. So quite expensive, but you are effectively getting multiple chargers in one. So if we go ahead and slide it out, you can see nice simple packaging. Go ahead and lift it out. It is quite a beefy charger. So go ahead and unwrap it here so you can see the size is pretty impressive. So on the back, you've got the four USB ports. So one, two, three, and then the type A there. So you've got different options. So really you can charge all your devices at once. So you might have your laptop and tablet there, then your phone and maybe your smartwatch, and you can charge them all from this one brick, which you can see is pretty deep in terms of thickness. I'm in the UK, so I've got the three prongs there, and then it is just plain along these sides. You have the 100 watt gallon nitrate and then the U green on the bottom. So that gallon nitrate does allow for all that power in such a small charger. So if I go ahead and just bring in the laptop charger from Apple. So this is the 30 watt charger that comes in the box with a MacBook Air. You can see size comparison. It's about the same sort of in terms of size. Obviously you've got this triangle here. So it you take the volume, it's about the same, I'd say. It's probably bigger, certainly a lot heavier. That's something I'm noticing straight away, a lot heavier for this one. It's a shame that they don't have folding prongs. I mentioned that in the previous video with the 65 watt charger. I wish they would put folding prongs like with the um, 20 watt chargers that Apple do that have folding prongs. I don't know if that's an Apple only thing with a patent, but you do have the prongs sticking out there. so. That's a bit of a shame, but it is nice and compact for the power you're getting. So we'll go ahead and just put that off to the side and check out now the desktop one. So perhaps you're at home and you don't need um, the portability and you wanna be able to charge all your devices at your desk. So again, it's gonna be the similar sort of thing. You could charge your laptop and tablet or maybe two, lap two laptops if you're working at home. So we'll go ahead and take this plastic off here. Always a nightmare to get off. And again, this one is the more expensive of the two. So it retails for a hundred pounds at the moment. You can see you get a nice box there. Again, four ports along the back here. You've got the USB-Cs with the hundred watts, then the type C again, but that would be lower power. So if we look on the back here, this, the first two are hundred watts. Then the third one is only 20 and the USB-A is only 18. So slightly different uh, in power there compared to the more portable one. But we'll go ahead and lift up the box. It opens up like that. So nice packaging there. Very fancy. You're paying for that extra packaging. You can see we get the brick there. So we go ahead and slide it out. It's very nice packaging indeed. So you have a nice textured top here with the Ugreen logo on the top there. Along the front there, you've got those USB-C ports along with that type A. And you can see you've got little rubber feet on the bottom. So it is meant to sit at your desk. 
And then on the back, you've got the port for the cable to plug into the back there. You just have a little uh, documentation that will tell you about the power ratings. And then it says here, take, your, take you to places unknown that are full of energy. So if we go ahead and lift this out and open up the box again, we get a power cable. So nice and simple, three prongs for me in the UK and then power cable there and you get some nice velcro straps so if you don't need all the length then you can wrap it up like this but we'll go ahead and just unwrap it see what kind of length we're dealing with here so i'll probably do this off camera and then tell you afterwards so we'll go ahead and set them up to see what kind of um, charging we can get they should be pretty fast so we'll check back in a minute Okay, so I've gone ahead and plugged in the power source here. The cable's about two meters long, so plenty long enough if you need to run it along the back of a desk or from a power source that's sort of across the room. You get two meters here and then with the cables as well, depending on what you're using, it could be anywhere from say 30 centimeters up to two meters. So up to about four meters in length if you really need that. But as I said, this is more of a desk one, whereas this is more of a portable charger. We'll go ahead and test it out. So I've got my laptop connected up to this one. So if I go ahead and plug it into one of those 100 watt ports, I should see it charge immediately. And there we go, it's popped up that it is charging. Now this is only a MacBook Air, so the charger is the 30 watt charger here. So it will get plenty from that 100 watts. If you're using the new MacBook Pro, say the 14 inch, again, you'll get enough charge. If you're using a 16 inch, you'll still get enough charge. It just won't be the fastest charging as that comes with a 146 watt charger, but it is still very good. We go ahead again, I've got another Type-C here. We can plug that into say the 18 watt charger. That's for my phone that I'm using to record this and it started charging, so useful again. And then I've got a light source as well. That's using a Type-A port. So if I go ahead and unplug it, the light will turn off. If I go ahead and plug it into this, Go ahead and flip that USB-A, very irritating, but useful to have on here. Go ahead and turn it back on, reset it back to the original color. Then you can see it's charging that as well, powering that device. So not only useful at a desk setup, if you're using multiple devices for recording videos like I am, you can have a light source, your phone or camera charging all at the same time and maybe a computer as well. You can see very useful device. It is expensive, so 100 pounds for this one. 80 pounds for this one. But remember, you are getting four ports in one. So if you're buying something like a spare MacBook charger, you're gonna be spending 50, 60 pounds from Apple on just that one charger. Whereas with this, you get four. And as I said, this one is very portable. So bringing in that 30 watt Apple charger again, it's only slightly bigger, quite a bit heavier, but you are getting four ports. So in my case, I would use the laptop, tablet, the phone, and my Apple Watch and I can charge all off one device. So it's saving me a lot of space and weight and certainly for the price, if you'd buy all of those separately, if you wanna travel ones, then it's gonna be more expensive from a company like Apple. So it is a good deal when you consider you're getting four ports in one. And again, the power is more than enough for most devices. It is just something like the new MacBook Pro 16 inch that these 100 watts might not be enough, but you do get two of them. So. You can share it across, say get 50 watts for uh, two laptops, which is gonna be plenty for most of the time unless you're both hitting them hard at the same time, then you may see a slight decrease in power. But from my experience, Ugreen is great. They have great customer service as well. So when I had an issue, they were great sending out a new product straight away. No, they didn't know who I was at that time. So really great customer service and great products as well, especially with these GAN chargers. They're a lot more compact than your traditional charger. So if you haven't tried them out before, I do recommend them. I'll leave links in the description down below to both of these products. They are affiliate links, so they help out the channel, which I do appreciate if you use them. If you have any questions about either of these or the previous charger that I've reviewed, go ahead and post a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you guys aren't already subscribed, get subscribed in the bottom left there and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching everyone. See you soon.